What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to go over a supposed leak on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now we've done these kind of things before and I would advise to take them all with a huge grain of salt. We went over that one, the story kind of leak, where some very, very crazy things happen and the response is a lot of people not believing it, which which I don't really believe it as well. In fact, if that stuff actually turns out to be true, I'd be incredibly, incredibly annoyed and I would not like it. This one seems more realistic, but it also is not saying all that much new or it's not saying, you know, it's not going to move the needle in any way. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go over because there are some new things, but it's something that I think could be accurate, but it could also just be somebody who was bored today that said, well, I can come up with like 10 things on the fly and it, it would seem believable even though I have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Either side of that, I think very, very much could happen. So let's just read it out. This comes from Reddit, as you might expect. And this person says, just saw an internal, not final trailer for this at a trade show. Details, I remember that the deluxe edition will cost 100 pounds, gets you the game three days early early with a battle pass points and also extra costumes the day one edition is 70 and they'll also get you extra costumes the game details is real-time weather which is stated in the trailer but you don't see an example and this is again the trailer he saw a day night cycle which again was stated in the trailer but did not see an example metropolis is twice the size of gotham in arkham knight and knight spelt wrong so that's kind of annoying rocksteady are working on one year of extra content new characters and missions were mentioned they state clearly you can play the game cooperatively online or play it all solo and switch between the four characters i don't know if this is seamless switching makes a point that each character has distinct traversal and distinct combat deadshot is gunplay and the others are more melee focused have no details on microtransactions or xp or anything games as a service all right so i'll be honest reading that through again out loud to you guys like in my own head as well um, there are some issues to it uh, like Arkham Knight being spelt wrong I think it's kind of pathetic considering that's not how you spell it so in case this person is watching you might want to kind of fix that one um, all right I mean beyond that is anything all that crazy no but here's the thing that's kind of why I I'm still 50 50 and if I want to believe it because this is not hard right deluxe edition 100 that makes a lot of sense get the games three days early um, that would be following kind of Hogwarts Legacy's lead right Warner Bros, WB Games, they follow each other, right? Obviously, you're going to kind of repeat what works. So that would make a lot of sense. Day one being 70, I mean, obviously, right, like a standard game nowadays. Um, the real-time weather and a day-night cycle being set in the trailer but not shown is kind of odd. Like when you think of a trailer and when you think of something that they say out loud as like a key point in the trailer, you would think they show it. So why wouldn't they show it? Now, maybe that's true. Maybe they did say it in a trailer and they didn't show it. But I would find that extremely odd. Like, why is that the case? Uh, again, Metropolis twice the size. That makes sense. Bigger is always <laughs> it's not always better. Absolutely not. But I'm, like, making the joke. In development world, uh, obviously, you want to always go bigger. So that makes a lot of sense. Rocksteady are working on one year of extra content. Now, again, like, that could very well be right. But, like, I've said that. I've said that hundreds of times, you know, maybe not hundreds. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Have I said that dozens of times that the game should release with Rocksteady already having like six to 12 months of content ready? Yes, the answer is, I mean, it's a spoiler. Yes, I have said that before. So again, like, I guess that's potentially a leak, but that's not all that crazy. I've said it before. Many other people have said it before. And I think, I would think that they'd be screwed if that's not the plan. If you release a game that literally is supposed to last long term which make no mistake about it this game is supposed to like it or hate it like it or hate it suicide squad is supposed to last long term so if they release the game and they don't have any plans for content for the follow two months three months four months if that's not done then something is very seriously obviously has gone wrong right so that's another one uh they state you can clearly play co-op or so, so like that we know that we know i mean we've said it before uh, maybe a thing people forget about or they just didn't know remember in this game it's not like gotham knights this game is you play as one of them and the bots ai will fill the others or online people so right you have the the team of four you'll play as one either online people will play as the other three or there'll be bots and so you can literally you can't play this game just as harley 
and nobody else like Harley's just out in the world. You can't do it like that. And they've said that. So that's not new literally at all. The only thing that would be new is actually the end there. I don't know if this is seamless switching. That would be nice to kind of see where maybe like a quick little gameplay segment where you're playing as Harley and then you switch to like King Shark really like can you do that on the fly? That would be cool to know. But again, they say it's not in there. And then uh, the players should play how they want to. They make a point that each character has distinct traversal. That makes sense. Like getting from point A to point B. We actually have seen that before for Suicide Squad. Characters move differently. And, and that's good. I, I like that. That's totally fine. We've seen that before. Um, and then in terms of they also play like different combat or distinct combat. Well, um, you know, the gun stuff, like guns are not exactly all that distinct from one another. However, I do imagine, and I think we saw it a little bit already from what they showed, characters do kind of like special abilities or things that are unique to them. Um, but the most like second to second gameplay in this game doesn't seem like it's all that distinct. In fact, that's kind of the problem, right? It's just the guns with the numbers and which gun is more powerful based off it. Of, like that's all it really is. And that's what's made people so upset. And then they talk about no micro. So obviously look, the trailer is not going to like beat into your head. Hey, buy this for 1099. And we're going to have like 80 things on sale day one. Uh, I would, I'd be shocked if they did that, you know, in, in any trailer for this game. So I would assume that's also true. So, you know, it's interesting to, or at least I hope it's interesting for you guys doesn't really matter what I think hopefully it was interesting for you guys to uh, kind of have it read out to you uh, and we'll see if it actually happens but if it does I don't know do you want to give this person credit like do they get a medal or something because ultimately nothing like there's not anything new the only thing new is the day night and, and stuff like but they didn't even show that in the trailer so if this trailer is real I don't really know like how good it's going to be. It's kind of stuff we already, you know, it's it's stuff we've already seen before. So, it'll be really fun actually if that trailer comes out. Let me know what you guys think as always. You know, I'm going to be cover good and bad. Good and bad for this game. I'll be covering it nonstop as we get closer. So, make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.